Please let Devil's Breath be secure. heard reports of Spider-Man literally seeking out clouds of smog to swing through? Is this the behavior of a sane individual? I'll tell you what I think is going on here. When I was a lad, there was a problem with juvenile delinquents sniffing glue to get high. Knowing Spider-Man's weak moral character and thrill-seeking personality, I'd guess the same principle is at work here. But inhaling toxic substances also damages the brain, which actually explains a lot about Spider-Man. He's swinging through the city, hopped up on smog! Hey, pal. This station tests particulate matter in the air. Now, you'd probably have some science jargony way to say this, but basically, too much is not good. Hmm. Readings are troubling, but inconsistent. The only way I'll figure out what's going on is to test nearby emissions. But I've got other problems. The sampler's detecting toxic particles. Better check it out. That steam vent's a good place to start. There's something in here that doesn't belong. Let's analyze it. Mercury, bonded with something else. I can't tell what. This obviously isn't confined to one building. A lot of people are at risk. See what a sample from this can tell me. Nitric acid in there, too. But also something else. I'm on the right track. Just need to keep following the trail. This is more widespread than I thought. 
The whole neighborhood's in danger from this. Stinks to high heaven. Time to find out what's in it. Ethanol. Why is this sounding so familiar? Mercury with nitrogen and ethanol. Gotta get back on the trail. When this is over, I'll alert the health department so they can check on the local residents. I found the problem. Caustic chemicals are leaking out of those barrels and into the plumbing. Need to clean up the site fast. Huh. The calcium and silicon in concrete makes it an ideal absorption material. Looks like I'll have to make a mess to fix this mess. One down. Nice. <coughs> Breathing this stuff in? Not good. Just a couple more barrels. Gotta stay above this stuff. Could have been way worse. Harry's research station just proved why it needs to stay open. Okay, Pete, this lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, 
or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals. It'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. Wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything.